Hi guys, um, so to start this look off, I'm just using a white foundation, a very pale one. It's almost white, but it still has a bit of like a yellow warmth to it. And I'm just applying that all over my face and blending it in with my fingers, but you can use a beauty blender or foundation brush or whatever you want. I was just trying to do this as quick as possible. Um, and then I'm just setting it with a white powder and a blush brush all over my face just so that it doesn't get oily when I apply all my other stuff to my face. Um, now I'm taking a Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette and using the black color from it and just starting to fill in my eye socket. So I've left the middle blank because that's where I'm going to be applying a shimmery purple color and then the whole rest of the eyelid up to my eyebrow is going to be black. So I just keep layering that and patting it on with a little uh, fluffy brush. I'm still just adding layers so I can get the black underneath my eyebrow as dark as possible. And then just blending that out underneath my eye. So I took the purple shimmer color from the same palette and put that in the middle of my eyelid. But I realized after in this tutorial it wasn't showing up as purple as I wanted on my camera so I actually switched to another shimmery purple I had from the hot makeup palette some palette from Europe but I mean just use whatever's available to you for colors you don't even have to do purple you could do green or blue or whatever for the main of this look so now I've curled my eyelashes and applied mascara and done a big winged eyeliner on both eyes so I just finished up the other eye and now I'm filling in the nose with black face paint. There's the other purple color I was talking about so I started using that instead. So I'm just outlining the nose with that purple eyeshadow and now black, back to black face paint I'm doing the jaw bones and the teeth. So I'm just drawing in those shapes and then I fill those two shapes in with the black face paint again. Oh, forgive me if I sound off in this. I've been like horribly sick all week. That's why I haven't done any videos since like early last week. Um, okay, I'm taking that same purple eyeshadow and just filling in the inner part of that shape just to give it a nice like purple shine. Now back with the black face paint, I'm filling in the teeth shapes. and then in between all these black lines will just be filled in with white face paint and then the underneath will be shaded that same purple eyeshadow. I think the part where it looked like I was going to throw up is because I started coughing because I was sick while I was filming this as well. So I'm just taking a small brush and shading underneath the teeth with that same purple eyeshadow. So not a lot of products to use for this look. The same stuff over and over again which makes it very easy. Now I'm just highlighting above those jaw bones and the nose with a white face paint and also by eyebrows. And these face paints are those same Nazarins that I use for all my videos. Now I'm just shading the hollows of my face with the purple um, eyeshadow from that Hot Makeup palette. And then I go around the bottom and like my temple head with the black after from the other palette that I was using for the eyeshadow. So I'm just trying to haul my face and this is with a really fluffy brush. You could use like a contouring brush or a blush brush for this as well. Just to give everything that purple glow to it. So now this is where I'm using that black color to finish shading it all in and blending it all together. And then I'm just drawing in little cracks with the black face paint, so on my chin and my forehead and cheekbones and then I kind of highlight those cracks with the white face paint afterwards. 
just to add a tiny little bit more detail to my face because I thought this was looking kind of plain towards the end. And then the last thing I'm doing is popping in my contacts. And those are from CamoEyes.com. And that is it for the look. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to record another look, but this might be it for this year. So hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. And thank you all for watching my videos every year. I appreciate it so much. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be posting more stuff after Halloween, like Christmas-related DIY stuff. But we'll have to see month by month what I put out. Um, yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching.